Alright, this is the final step for solving the 3x3. Three three. And there are four cases that you can have with the edges. One of them is where it's the clockwise cycle with three edges. This one needs to go here, this one needs to go here, and this one needs to go here. The next one is the counterclockwise. This one needs to go here, this one needs to go here, and this one needs to go here. The next one is H, where, um, I'm pretty sure it's H, where these two need to be switched, and these two need to be switched. And then the next one is called parallel lines, I'm pretty sure, where th these two need to be switched, and these two need to be switched. So, you can really fix any of them with one algorithm that's just like tweak just a little bit at one point. So, we are going to start with the the double parallel lines. Actually, never mind, we're going to start with the counterclockwise one. The counterclockwise and clockwise cycle are pretty much the exact same, except for maybe, um, I think instead of... Oh, well, I'll, ju I'll just explain it later. So, you want to have the three that need to be switched in the front and the one that does not need to be switched in the back. So here's the one that does not need to be switched. It's in the back. That one's fine. This one needs to go here. That's the counterclockwise. So for the counterclockwise, you are going to do F2, U prime, left, uh, L, R prime, F2, L prime, R, U prime, F2, and the cube should now be solved. The next one is the clockwise edge cycle, where you have the three in the front and the last one in the back, or the last correct one in the back. So this one needs to go here, here, here. So you're going to do F2, U, left, or L, R prime, F2, L prime, R, U, F2, and now the cube should be solved. These last two are very easy. They are known as H, these two, these two need to be switched, and diagonal parallel lines. All you have to do for these is do one of those moves. And you should be down to either the clockwise or the counterclockwise edge cycle. So you can just finish it off. And your Rubik's Cube should be solved. Thank you. And that's it. Happy cubing.